up YouTube uh, today uh, this is for my fellow artists or creators out there look I just wanted to remind you that as a creator you face a lot of feelings of like insecurity or self-doubt stuff like that so like common ones are feeling like your work is inferior to other people's you look at other people in uh, similar or even different niches and you begin to think that their stuff is better than yours uh, even though it may be unrelated or it may be just as good um, or you look at another artist and you say hey man that person's talented I'm crap right but everybody kind of has their own place right and uh, you know a lot of people feel other things like they feel like their work doesn't matter like they create all this stuff and nobody even cares or nobody's going to see it and um, that could be true but the thing is is that you just got to keep pushing through that and another thing is that um, everyone tries to please everyone. So if you're trying to please too many people, you're not going to please anyone. So you can't please everyone. You can only please, you know, a few people, like a, a select group of people all the time. So don't try to please everyone. Just do what you feel is best and what you know is, is core to what you want to do and what you believe and just do that so that you're proud of the work that you do and it doesn't matter who likes it or not um i know that a lot of times we also feel like um our stuff is not different than other people's and there's some truth to that i i do feel like there's just in general um there's so much content out there like there's a lot of there's so many books and there's so many painters and there's so many everything these days just because there's so many people that it's hard harder for there to be uh unique items create right but it's still you and it, people i i really feel like a lot of people follow specific um like artists or or people or musicians because of who they are and the style that they tend to genuinely produce and I think a lot of people follow people for the person itself. And, you know, things evolve, things change. You kind of grow over time, and that's fine. Um, but don't try to do stuff that everyone else wants or, you know, trying to go off in so many directions. Just do what you want to do, and you'll kind of find, you know, your own signature style and all that. But just, just worry about doing what you love. That way, when you do those things... You're at least happy in the process. Um, one kind of last, another like another feeling that I've felt before is, is I feel like a fraud, um, like, and Stephen King talks about this in I think in his book on writing, about how he he always has this fear that one day he's just gonna wake up and people are gonna realize he's a fraud, like he can't write. And it's funny because you know he's written so many books and he's so successful, but if even the most successful people feel that way then people who aren't that successful definitely have a right to feel that way, right? Um, and it's okay if, if you feel that way, it's normal. The biggest thing that I want to address, the, the last like feeling and, the, and the, the last thing I want to address that has kind of struck me and I've noticed um, very, very huge with creative people um, whether it be writers or artists, um, you know, people, uh, musicians, people who create, we tend to kind of isolate ourselves. And I don't think that it's on purpose that we don't want to be around people or that we don't necessarily, it's not that we don't like people or anything, but for me, and I think this goes with a lot of people who kind of have this, um, who kind of get like in the zone, I guess, is like you, you want to be left alone. Right, and you want to be able to do your work without interruption because you you want to be able to focus, and you want to be able to allow your mind to kind of just be you know uninterrupted as you create, um, and that's good um, because that is going to help you create that work, right? But at the same time, I think we kind of carry that over out of the creative stage, and so there's this feeling of isolation and sometimes it's very lonely being a writer or a, a painter or a sculptor or whatever right regardless of what you make sometimes it's lonely because we're so focused on creating our things and you know trying to 
get it out there in the world, that sometimes we become isolated to others and we don't talk to people about this, right? We don't talk to other artists. We don't talk to, um, you know, we might talk to people around us, but I find that the people who aren't, who don't do something similar, um, don't necessarily understand what it feels like, right? So when you get stuck in a rut, it's hard to explain that to someone who doesn't, has never had that, that specific feeling. People might have similar feelings if they, you know, just in life, but like if you're a writer and you haven't been able to write a single page in days, to explain that to, an, to someone who doesn't write, they're like, oh, you know, you just do this, this, and this, right? People try to fix it but they don't understand what that feels like, right? Um, and and that's okay, because there's a lot of feelings that my wife has felt that I haven't, and vice versa. But my point is, is I just want to remind you that you're not alone in those feelings. You're not alone in the feelings of insecurity, um, or self-doubt, or isolation. Those are normal things. I'm not saying that they're okay, but you do have to work through them. And I think that what I would suggest is if you can find someone who you can talk to about that, um, who understands that, that's probably the best outlet because talking to people who haven't been in that position, they might be supportive and they may have great intentions and those people may be genuinely great people. But if they don't understand, it won't resonate. You know what I mean? And so my point is, is one, just as a recap, like, you're not alone in those feelings. So just, just know that you are not alone in any of the feelings that you face uh, as a creative person. Um, and number two, that these are normal, but you do have to work through it. Okay, so we can't make excuses. We can't say, oh, I'm just feeling like a, a fraud. I'm just going to give up, right? You can give up, but then, then what? What are you going to do then? What are you going to contribute? Like if that is your passion, then what are you going to do if you just stop? You know, I don't think that you're, I don't think it's a good idea to give up what you genuinely feel like you could do the rest of your life. I used to write and it took me a couple years of writing to realize that I enjoyed having something written, but I didn't enjoy the process of writing. I didn't like sitting down and just staring at a screen. I just didn't enjoy that. But painting, I could do this until the end of time because I think about it and I want to do it and I enjoy the process, even if it frustrates me, because it will freaking frustrate you. Um, and I'll actually be posting a video <laughs> of a painting that took me like four different tries to get right, um, if, if anybody wants to see that. But anyway, so I just wanted to, to give this shout out. I apologize, it was a few minutes longer than I intended, but uh, just wanted to remind you that if you're creative, don't give up, don't throw away um, your talent just because people don't understand it um, or because you think it's not good enough or because you feel like it's not getting anywhere. Sometimes it, it doesn't get anywhere. People, there's no overnight success stories. Please understand that. Like you will get fed this lie on, you know, by ads all over the place nowadays of like, oh, overnight success story. I did this and I became this and I sold all these paintings and I made all this. I tell you, it's not true. It took probably a long time to get to that point and then it might have just, you know, accelerated overnight, but I bet you like there was a lot of work involved. So don't give up. Don't feel like you're the only person in the world who feels them. I felt it as well. And it's part of the process, but you just gotta remember that that stuff's not real. I mean, I believe that it's the enemy, you know, it's the devil that's trying to knock us down and say, hey, you're not good enough and, you know, what you're doing is just a waste of time, right? I really feel like the, it's the devil, but you may not believe that and that's okay. But regardless of what you believe, those feelings, they do come. Just push them aside and keep pushing through it, okay? The world needs your creativity and as long as it's making the world a better place and, and you're genuinely you know, brightening people's lives and just enriching the world overall, then it is worth it. And I'm going to urge you to keep going through it, um, push aside the feelings and just keep pushing through to creating what you know needs to be created. You never know when it's going to be that, that one thing, the, you, you know, that one book you write or that one song or that one painting that 
just takes off. You know, maybe it sells right away, or maybe you get some kind of uh, deal or recognition out of it. And if you had stopped before that piece was created, you never would have gotten to that point. But it's easy to get overwhelmed and feel like your work doesn't matter. It happens. It totally does. Uh, but just keep pushing through it, okay? Uh, hopefully this video was encouraging. I know that I'm kind of boring and monotonous. I apologize, but I appreciate you uh, sticking with me. If you like this video, please like it and uh, leave a comment and I will catch you guys in another video. Take care.